perfect. We have eight hours until tomorrow morning. Enough time to make it to Minamoto Heavy Industries and back. These ladies have rented the whole club for tonight. There won't be anybody aside from us. We must find a way to make sure they forget everything that happened. Of course, gentlemen should always look after ladies. Leave it to me. Good job. Go get ready in the basement. We can reach Minamoto Heavy Industries underground levels directly from there. There are 15 pounds of explosives left in the box in the basement. We'll take it. It should be enough to blow up Kaguya's storage core. This is the plan. We'll pose as Hydra's Execution Bureau and access Minamoto Heavy Industries' inner district through the sewers. Any question? An Anaki? Uh, why are we heading to Minamoto Heavy Industries? That's the headquarters of... We're gonna find out what they're hiding, and while we're at it, we'll also blow up Kaguya. They have to pay for all the wrong they've done. It's way too risky to head right into the lion's den without more people. If you're too scared, stay and look after the girls. Ha! Do I look like someone who'd back down from a fight? Hurry, the elevator is straight ahead. Let's get up there. <laughs> that was lucky. We got in without a hitch. Is this place a warehouse? Doesn't seem all that important. Stop talking and start walking. The Execution Bureau is swarming all over this place. If we stay, they'll find us. Which level, Anaki? I hadn't thought of that. But the most important floor is definitely the top one. Let's go up and see. No, no, no. It's gonna be more heavily guarded than anywhere else. Let's follow the original plan and blow up Kaguya first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Let's blow up Kaguya's core first. You bastard! Why are you late? Sumimasen. You really shouldn't be apologizing. On the battlefield, one can only apologize once. 
That is when speaking one's last words. You two, get those boxes to Shinto straight away. The rest of you, follow me. You stay here to keep a record. When the Execution Bureau arrives, have them escort the rest of these boxes to Shinto. Me? Uh, okay. You punk. Is that how you speak to your chief? Go take your punishment after we finish the task. And you, help carry those boxes right now. It's the first time the police department has come with a search warrant. They want to start trouble? Don't concern yourself with something so trivial, Chisei. Our war against the Devil Clan has made the Diet uneasy. And this is the o I know that it will be a real pain to relocate these files to Shinto. But it's the safest thing to do. They won't have any way of knowing that the building has a hidden chamber. The only thing that still worries me is God. We have no clue whatsoever. We must keep on looking for the King's Blade and the Dragon Lord. News of the Principal? An S-ranked hybrid whose extra skill is time zero. If he chooses to stay in the shadows, no one on Earth will be able to track him down. Why are you stalling? I told you to take the files to Shinto. Get moving! Where's Luminous? Did he get held up? Well, no worries. With the way he looks, I'm sure he'll be safe. Let's investigate while we wait for him. I just had a look around. Nothing except for the murals. Johan Chu, you're the expert on this. Can you figure out what they're about? These murals resemble the ones in Dunhuang, probably about 2,000 years old. I'm not interested in an artistic appraisal. But why do you think they are so important to Hydra? To the point that they have been stored in a special hiding place? I think they're telling us the real history according to Hydra. This mural... It's the Dark King. And the Light King. What else is there? I can only try to decipher a small part of it. These murals contain a lot of dragon history that we've never heard of. Hydra knows the value of the murals. That's why they're hiding them here. They've never informed the college about them. Have you got a camera? These murals are extremely valuable. Even an image of them would be very helpful to our research. What is... the Emperor? Ever heard of him? According to these murals, the Emperor is a super-hybrid that can ignore the limit of the blood threshold. The Emperor has the potential to be as powerful as the Dragon Lord. From the moment of his birth, he is destined to be the leader of Hydra. The young clan chief... 
Well, let's see. Does anybody we know spring to mind when you think about it? It's Geo Shalon! His underlings call him the Young Chief. Unbelievable! Anyone who crosses the Blood Threshold becomes a Death Servitor! Light and King are hidden in the Emperor character. The Light... King... Damn it, these guys are the descendants of the Light King! This series of murals is named The Real Life of the White Emperor. It tells the history of the Light King. The Light King has control over the spiritual element, a trait he passed to the Emperor. So, even if the Emperor should happen to venture beyond the Blood Threshold, he will never turn into a Death Servitor. Wait! That elevator ding! Somebody is coming up. It must be that... humanoid dragon. Johan Chu, finish taking pictures of the murals. We'll buy you some time. This is way more important than blowing up Kaguya. He's coming! Prepare yourselves! You sure got here fast, oh great super hybrid. You're still alive. That's good. Hello again, Caesar Gattuso. You won't be able to leave. The building's in lockdown. Are you going to surrender or fight and lose? If it's the latter, I can't guarantee that your lives will be spared. Personal safety? You were our backup. And you left us to our own devices 8,000 meters under the sea! Emperor or not, you've made a mistake. Now you must pay. Yes. I have made many mistakes. And now, I have to make even more. We are at an impasse in terms of our belief and position. There is only one way out. You didn't really think the Almighty Emperor could be dethroned like this, did you? Let's get out of here first. Yes. Get rid of the lock and lead us to the main server room, where Kaguya is. You won't be able to get in. I don't have permission to enter the main computer room. Mr. Tachibana has both the key and the code. Then how can we get out of this damn place? Tell me! The only way is through the elevator shaft. Move! We're under attack! These Death Servitors are man-made. They were sent here as a part of some elaborate plan. I believe we have common ground to stand on. 
School rules stipulate that we have to protect humans from dragons and death servitors. We will work with you. You've got to be kidding me. This is the venerable Emperor? I ref- He nearly killed us! He cut the cable and left us to die! Yes. Give me a chance, and I will have you surrounded and made prisoners. It doesn't matter if you have done Hydra any favors. I have three things to say. The first is that what a man does has nothing to do with his personal debts. Something as trivial as that cannot be his motivation. The second is that I am a man of the underworld. I have done things far worse than leaving you down in the Mariana Trench. I freely admit that I am not a good man. The third is that you won't take me away from here. If you are not willing to help me, then leave me my katana. As the leader of my clan, I have a duty to fight. Damn it! If one can't follow one sense of justice, what is the point of living? As I said, I only have three things to say, and now I have said them. Everyone, we don't have much time left. I don't believe you, but I'll give you a chance. Because there are innocent people who actually do. They are coming. Get ready. You brought explosives with you? How much is left? Fifteen pounds, but explosions have little effect on them. They are resistant to the shockwaves, but if we set this whole place on fire, the fat content within their bodies will explode. The Hall of Murals is an enclosed space. We can set the fire there and take the elevator down before the explosion. The Death Servitors won't survive. The High Patriarch is about to commit arson in his own home? I am honored to be of assistance. We'll have an easier time burning them all if they're gathered together. They're attracted to my blood, so I'll be the bait. Let's divide and set up the charges. I wonder how Gio Shalon is getting on. I certainly hadn't expected him to set fire to his own home so readily. Do you trust that guy? He hasn't run off, has he? Since we're working together, we have no choice but to trust him. Remember that dragon blood runs through his veins, and dragons have no real feeling. Don't trust him. Fine. I can tell that you are ready. Let's go and rendezvous with Gio Shalon at the elevator. Why are the Death Servitors kneeling before him? Some kind of... mind control? No, this is gravity manipulation. It's Chisei Gen's extra skill. Extra skill, sovereignty. All creatures inside its force field, except those designated by the caster, will suffer gravity a hundredfold. Looks like he's planning on attracting the Death Servitors with his blood. I suppose he will subsequently proceed to crush them with his sovereign power. The power of the Emperor. Go! He can't resist any longer! Take this guy and go! We'll hold them off!
The Death Servitors are after Chisei Gen's blood! We need to burn his bloodied clothes! It's no use. The Death Servitors will soon realize that it's not alive. We must take those clothes with us. You went back inside the trench first. This time, leave it to me. Let me know when the elevator comes. I'll get out as quickly as possible. Cover me. Ugh. Take this. Ugh. I've looked you and Johan Chu up. At the college, you two are rivals. That guy is so annoying. He may appear easygoing, but he's actually extremely stubborn. Once he makes up his mind, there's no changing it. That's just the kind of person I hate the most. But I too can be stubborn. Once I decide on something, nobody can change my mind. I guess that's why we ended up as opponents. We're almost there. Send a signal to Johan. Why isn't he back? Damn it, he must have got swarmed by the Death Servitors. He can't deal with them all on his own. We must rescue him. It's too late. The explosion is about to go off. We can't save him. You can't get him back from a group of Death Servitors. If my friend can leave, you won't be allowed to leave either. On the battlefield, everyone is expendable. Your duty as team leader is to make sure as many people survive as possible. No. I am not the team leader. I'm simply a friend. Of justice! My sense of justice will not allow me to leave a friend behind. And I am willing to die for what I believe in! I'm the team leader! There's no way I'm leaving a comrade behind. So this is what it means... to be... on the side of justice. Go back and make sure that guy doesn't get away. We'll leave once we've dealt with this trash. Servitors like my blood. Now this has my blood on it. Throw it into the corner to attract their attention. That's the only way those two can have a shot at staying alive. The dynamite is about to explode. Go! Oh! 